Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website, which is eight free self improvement lessons. Lesson seven of the eight is key things that I've learned in studying step families as a professional therapist and researcher and educator since 1979. Lesson seven is about how to make a successful step family despite the odds of failure. What I want to do in this video is summarize for you some key danger signs. Redivorce, whether there are kids involved or not, starts in courtship. Uh, many second marriages and third and fourth fail. Those which involve prior kids, meaning stepfamily remarriages, are uh, often vulnerable to great stress and eventual breakup. So I want to offer you some key ideas to watch for if you are a single parent considering hooking up with a new mate, or if you are someone considering hooking up with a single parent. These are some things to watch out for when you're courting seriously. Um, I recommend that before you view this video follow the link that I'm about to show you and look at the videos there which apply to first marriage danger signs and three right decisions picking the right person for the right reason at the right time. Those things still apply in step family courtship and there are some extra dangers to be aware of. That's what I'm about to outline for you. If your new partner, whether they have kids or not, um, are not, they're not interested in assessing themselves for psychological wounds, red light. Prior divorce is a strong indicator. It's not proof, but it's a strong indicator of at least two things, psychological wounds in one or both mates and ignorance, among other things, ignorance of how to problem solve. So if you are a single divorced parent or you're dating someone who's divorced with kids, and if you or they, for that matter, are not interested or willing to assess yourself for psychological wounds, as the videos and articles relative to lesson one in my website show. If you're not interested in doing that, that is an orange light, if not a red light, about committing to a risky, complex, stressful step family. Danger. Another danger sign, if your new partner, if he or she has been divorced and has a living ex-mate, if the relations between your exciting new partner and his or her ex-mate is hostile, involves court battles, battles over money, battles over kids, custody, visitation, holidays, education, if there is significant hostility between your new beloved and their ex-mate, or for that matter, your own ex-mate, red light. That symbolizes wounds and ignorance among all involved adults, not a good basis on which to start a new step family. Those can be fixed first, then consider courting. Even if relations are cordial with ex-mates, if the ex-mate has signs of psychological wounds, yellow light, what kind of signs? Past or present addictions, past or present affairs, financial problems like bankruptcy, uh, work problems like being out of work for a long time, problems with the law, mental illness, dependence on drugs, including food, by the way. If an ex-mate, even if cordial and friendly, has signs like that, it's likely that will uh, develop into some significant relationship problems around step family issues. So be cautious about that. If you 
or your exciting new partner and or either of your ex-mates, one or both, if any of you poo-poo or deny that you are considering starting a step family. If you don't know what a step family is, see the video on facts, related video to this one. If you or your partner or either of your ex-mates, if you've got them, uh, deny that you are forming or considering forming a step family, bright red light. That signifies that you're denying something important. Reality distortion equals denial is a sign that somebody is being ruled by a false self and isn't willing to face an important reality here. If you or your partner have living prior kids and you're considering dating and getting married or committed again, you are a step family. If you deny that, um, you're in trouble. If you admit you're a step family, but you don't know what it means or you don't care, or you and your new partner don't invest considerable time in learning about step families before you exchange vows, bright red light. Step families are high risk ventures. There's lots of problems. There's a very high failure rate. Many people, uh, based on little credible evidence that I can find, Many people estimate that step family remarriages or recommitments fail significantly more often than first marriages. First marriages in the United States now fail roughly just under half. That's legal divorce. More fail psychologically. So remarriages involving kids, some people have estimated as high as 60 or 70 percent of those marriages or unions fail. Check it out before you commit. If you're not willing to do that, or if your partner is in, or you, they only pay lip service, danger. A related danger is you may, you and or they may pay lip service to or actually study what's it like to be in a step family, and you may ignore the three related decisions, uh, important courtship decisions, that you'll find in the playlist that I hope you uh, viewed before you came here. Um, in my experience, people who succeed at step family commitments and marriages uh, have chosen intentionally the right people to commit to at the right time for the right reasons. That's even more important if you're considering forming or joining a step family. So if you and or your partner are not willing to put some serious work into studying, if you're, if you're considering formal commitment, are we marrying the right people? Are we choosing the right spouse, ex-mates, kids, and parents? That's who you're committing to. Is this the right time to commit? Is, are we doing it for the right reasons? See the other video that outlines um, these three questions in some detail and use the assessment worksheets uh, in my nonprofit website in lesson four. There's some detailed worksheets you can use to help, help you assess these questions. Another indicator that is at least a yellow light, a light if not red, if you're considering step family marriage, is if somebody's kids are um, clearly troubled. If they're having significant trouble at school, if they have health, health problems, emotional problems, drug problems, money problems, that is an indication that they came from a low nurturance family that is an indication that their biological parents are probably psychologically wounded and ignorant. They're grown wounded children. See lesson one as to what that means. So if either one of you have significantly troubled kids, orange light, be very, very careful about committing to each other until you find out what's troubling the kids and what can you do to help them. Um, 
an extremely important one that many people don't want to face. If a new parent who is courting a single parent hears or witnesses from, from the parent, the biological parent, well, you have to understand, my kids will always come first. Remain friends, forget step families. One of the biggest causes of people who re-divorce and who feel that they failed at trying to create a step family is the step parent gets tired of feeling second best or fifth and having their mate put the mate's kids first before the marriage. That does not work. Check with any veteran re-divorced people with parent with kids. Ask them if this is true. Check it out. Don't take my word for it. So if either one of you is a parent, if either one of you feels push comes to shove, my kids come first. Remain friends and perhaps lovers. Do not commit to a formal step family and cause all of you years of heartache, stress, and eventual failure. Don't do it. Okay. The last warning sign I want to mention here is many times people who have divorced recently or are widowed and have kids are in a rush to find a new partner. That is extremely dangerous for a whole bunch of reasons. The reasons net out to this. Often the many profound psychological losses associated with divorce can take many years to process and stabilize, in other words, to grieve. If you find yourself dating seriously uh, within a year or two or even three after someone's divorce or separation or death, too soon, um, your hearts won't agree with this, but common sense says give the people who are survivors of divorce a chance to grieve and stabilize. Um, there's lots of information and literature uh, available to help understand, you know, how, have we recovered? Um, there is an article in my lesson four in my website about divorce recovery. It's a worksheet. can give you some solid ideas about is someone, you or someone else, have you really recovered from a prior divorce? So, these are some warning signs I pass on to you in case you are in love again and you're considering forming a high-risk step family. Um, you or your, par your partner or their ex don't want to assess for wounds. You're not uh, accepting your step family deny your uh, identity. You're not finding out what the identity means. You have troubled kids. Um, there are legal battles between ex-mates over a variety of things. These are all major signs. This is not the right time and perhaps not the right person to commit your life to and your kids. I hope you will study Lesson 7 thoroughly, both the videos and Lessons 1 through 7 in my website, before you commit. Before. Thanks for watching.